Welcome back. Now that we've finished the actual module um, activity and temperature, what I thought is we could just go over the actual scientific terms that you would have heard in this module. Because it's important that you know your scientific words for two reasons. You actually have plus points for using the correct scientific terminology in your exams or in your assignments. And also, um, you might have these come up in your questions. And if you don't know what they actually mean, you might not be able to answer properly. So. These are just a summary of the words that would have come up, the important words. Um, so I'll go through one by one right now. So I'll start with the enzyme. The enzyme was a biological catalyst. And that word catalyst refers to this here. A catalyst is something that speeds up reactions. So an enzyme is a biological catalyst that speeds up chemical reactions. Uh, you've got the active site, which is the area where substrates can bind to. We've got substrates, so that's a substance that enzymes works on. So I've, I've written work on, not break down, because some enzymes can also build up, so they can either break down certain substances, and other enzymes can build up certain certain substances. So it uh, works on is probably better than break down. Product is new substances, new substances that are formed. And um, so here we've got the picture here, we've got the enzyme, which might be the thing in blue, that's the enzyme. Substrate, the thing that's being worked on is that thing in the red here. The active side is where it's binding to, so this part here, that part that it's binding to, that might be the active side. Then it breaks, uh, in this case, it's breaking down the substrate into two products. So these are the new products. And this, all this together, is a chemical reaction as well. So you've got your products, uh, your, subs your um, substrates going into your product. That's a chemical reaction. Uh, metabolism, now as metabolism was all chemical reactions that occur in our body. So uh, cell respiration, building of proteins, um, making heat, all that kind of stuff. The, all these are chemical reactions. And some of all of them we call our metabolism. Metabolic efficiency, that's how fast chemical reactions happen. That's usually to do with enzymes. So our metabolic efficiency has gone down if our enzymes are not working as fast as they can. And why would they not work as fast as they can? It's because they are denatured. So we're denatured refers to a change in shape of the enzyme. So we had an enzyme shape earlier. If it's deformed, if substrate can't fit on it anymore, it's denatured. We've got pH. That was a measure of acidity. So, so if something has a low pH, it means it's very acidic. If something has a high pH, that means it's not very acidic, it's very basic instead. We've got the word homeostasis. Remember homeostasis? I was keeping a constant internal environment. That might be keeping our pH the same, keeping our temperature the same, keeping our water levels the same, keeping um, glucose the same, just keeping everything at a constant level, at the same level. Stimulus, a stimulus was something that brings it out of balance. So for example, if our pH goes too low or too high, if our temperature goes too low or too high, that too low or that too high, that's our stimulus. We can pick that up and then we can bring it back down or bring it back up. Our nervous system, that consists of the brain, the nerves, and remember all those receptors, receptors that could pick up change. These three, plus the spinal cord, are part of our nervous system. Ambient temperature, that was just the temperature outside. So our body temperature is our internal temperature, and the ambient temperature is the temperature of the environment. Ectotherms, Organisms that can't regulate their own internal temperature. So those were the ones who, whatever their ambient temperature was, was also their internal temperature. Then we've got endotherms. Those were the mammals and the birds. And these were organism, organisms that can regulate internal body temperature. Right? So these are the ones which, even if, we're, if they're in freezing conditions, their body temperature will still be 37 degrees Celsius. And also that word organism, that word organism was all living things. Any living thing is an organism. So that's a very general um, word for living things. Thermal regulation is to maintain and regulate body temperature. Right? So in our case, we want to keep it 37 degrees Celsius. And thermal regulation allows us to keep it at that 37 degrees Celsius by sweating um, or dilating our blood vessels when it goes too high or by shivering and constricting our blood vessels when it goes too low. Optimum conditions, again, these are for enzymes, so level of pH and temperature are at that ideal uh, level to lead to metabolic efficiency. So, for example, if we have we need to have a pH of 7 for enzymes to work best, then our optimum condition is a pH of 7. 
okay, remember, try to remember some of these or, or at least be able to understand some of these uh, words because they're all really important. And um, yeah, next is going to be a summary of the actual topic itself. Hope that was useful.